Well, I finally broke down since I can't afford a faceting machine. Figured it's time to just make one. At the beginning of the video, I need to take a second to advise that if you're going to do projects of any kind, make sure you're doing it in a well-ventilated area. Use safety equipment and take care of your health. You only get one body. Let's begin. So first, I kind of needed a structure and the flat lap set up. A flat lap is basically a flat disc that has some sort of abrasive to cut, grind, polish things. I'm using a very, very old method of using a copper disc with scores cut in it and diamond paste. I used a milk crate and just some plastic trash laying around and did some plastic welding using pieces of copper wire and yeah this is one of those things like don't do this indoors i'm pretty sure they could smell me doing this uh on the international space station it was bad very very bad but it did mostly work now this is the prototype model and there's going to be bugs to work out heck i've already worked some out in the process of making this video but the lap discs themselves are pretty solid. You can utilize these to great effect even with just a Dremel. I'm just scaling them up. Once you have them circular, take a razor blade and just score into them. Oh, maybe drill a hole in the middle. Forgot that part. I'm using a arbor for a Dremel. Good idea to make sure you're centered. Uh, even just a slight bit of the balance being off will cause really bad vibrations in the machine. Something I'm going to have to work out on this Yeah, just attaching it to a uh, Dremel Arbor, or I think there's another name for it, I just can't remember. And then I used a 3-inch bench grinder with flex shaft from Harbor Freight. Now originally I was using my older one, however the new model that Harbor Freight just put out, oh, 400 grit diamond paste, worked okay for the original or for the low setting but i would say like a 220 would be better anyway the new model of three inch bench grinder from harbor freight does a really good job of its speed control i'd almost recommend throwing out the 45 dollars to just get a new one for the base motor system of this project I'm using a piece of synthetic corundum to embed the diamond paste and diamond abrasives into the copper lap. And then you need the mast. Now, oh, I don't know that this was necessary. I was just trying to take away the friction of the lap being on the flat plastic plate so I put a little ring right in the center to kind of hold it up a little bit and give less surface tension and there we go feels like that's vibrating a lot less than the finished <laughs> version but whatever anyway next part is the mast i put this together from copper tubing and some other stuff a very important part of that is a 96 tooth gear 
that allows you to place your facets where you want them. It's kind of hard to explain this process, so I'm just kind of let it play out and you'll kind of see you might if you want to do this at home you could probably rewatch it several times also if you got questions feel free to leave them down below now the assembly of the mast and index gear which is this 96 tooth gear um, attaching to the mast you want that to be able to move around but to stay where you put it I stuck it the mast in a brick and that will help me get the angle I need in the future it's pretty sturdy and stays in place by raising and lowering the system or turning the gear and then locking it into place, I can precisely plan where my facets will go. And so to test it, I went with a standard round brilliant cut design. That said, had to make several fixes. I'm using a spirit leveler to get the main angles correct. And I spent like four hours playing with it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, advice, suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. I am happy to learn from others or teach others what I've learned. I hope you have a wonderful week and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of this plays out. Have a good one.